All right, so quick show and tell video on the next hair that I will be installing. Now this isn't an unboxing video because I have seen the hair before, I've unboxed it before, but I just want to show you guys, give y'all a little preview of what's to come. So if you guys can tell from the packaging, gold box, purple tissue paper, yeah, it's a Golden Webs um, package. And um, I have done a Golden Webs review before on the Peruvian Deep Wave hair, which is some big, curly, gorgeous hair. If y'all haven't seen that video, I'll leave the information in the information box. And I will insert a picture right about now. So I received four bundles from Golden Webs. That's two 26s, a 24, and a 22. So we about to be long here, don't care for the summer. And um, here it is. This is, again, the Brazilian Natural Wave. And I want to just show you guys what the webs look like. So that's about how much they give you for the bundles. And I also received a lace closure. So here that is. I'm actually pretty excited about the closure. We got a few baby hairs in there. And um, this is what the bottom looks like. There are no guards and I don't believe the knots are bleached. Just stay tuned for that video and I'll see y'all later. And I'm back to show you guys the finished product of my Golden Webs Brazilian Natural Wave hair. So I have in four bundles, two 26s, a 24, a 22, and I have a closure. This looks to be about 12 to 14 inches and so I just washed it so it's freshly washed it's probably about 85 percent dry so I just wanted to show you guys how it looks where it reaches me around the navel around the hip area around somewhere around there so um yeah I've had this here installed for a couple of days but I'm just coming to you on camera because I have a braid under here that is really tight and so I didn't cut or do anything to it because um, this braid is so tight like when I move or something like that like it kind of hurts and I would take it out I didn't even realize the braid was so tight until I attached the closure and you know put the whole thing down and it's just like so much pressure against that one braid and I would take the braid out and take this whole thing down but it's kind of like um if I take the braid out because it's been pulling on it for so long I'm not gonna be able to braid it back up again so I'll just wait until it feels better but it's just one break that's just like killing me I haven't done anything to the hair for the past days that I have worn it and um, I'm about to razor it now layer it a little bit as you guys can see I have a slight issue with the closure because the closure is so much more curly than the hair the closure is more curly than wavy so um, if it was more wavy, I would just leave it, and I don't think I would layer it, but because the closure is so short and um, shorter than the other lengths and it's curly, I'm going to just layer it in, and we'll figure that out. so I layered it a bit I just want to show you guys how the ends of the hair is looking because I think I might trim some of that because it looks a little straggly not as much on this side more so on this side I don't know if you guys can see those ends so I'm gonna just trim that a little bit
Mm. All right, so I've put some layers in the hair and I've trimmed the ends a little bit. And so this is how it looks so far. Okay, so trimming the hair did help with the closure a little bit more because it's not as blunt with the length of the closure and the curl pattern, but I think I might go through my closure with maybe like a flat iron or a curling wand or something to blend it a little bit more. And yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.